Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an OS Ticket Help Desk Server on Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to install a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now basically this image comes with pre-installed OS Ticket and Apache along with MySQL and MariaDB. So simply click on launch to get started. After that. You would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name, then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. And when you're satisfied with the settings, simply scroll down, accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. For that, simply click on this button right over here. Now this is going to open up a new window which is going to connect to the SSH service of our virtual machine. While that is loading, you want to click the link in the description box that will take you to this step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up OS ticket server on GCP. So head back over to the SSH terminal and then you want to start off by typing in the command sudo space hyphen i. After that, you want to set up MySQL installation. For that, we're going to copy this command and paste it inside our SSH terminal, which is then going to ask us for the password. So type in the password and then hit enter. Once that is done, what we want to do is that we want to create a new database and a new user for our OS ticket. So for that, simply copy this command and paste it inside our SSH terminal. Now this is going to create a database with the name ticket. Once that is done, we're going to copy this command which is going to create a new user with the name ticket user and this is going to be the password. But make sure to give your username and your password and then paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that, we want to grant all the privileges to our this specific user. For that, simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. Now as you can see that, we're using the username that we are given in this command. So if you have changed the username, then you need to provide your username over here. So paste it inside the SSH terminal and then what you want to do is that you want to run flush privileges which is going to apply the configuration and then you want to exit from MariaDB or MySQL. Now the next step is to configure Apache server. So what we want to do is that we want to create a new configuration file. For that we are going to simply copy this command and paste it inside our SSH terminal. Now inside this configuration file we want to copy all of these commands, paste it here and then you want to make sure that you provide your domain in this server name and the server alias as well. But if you're running it on the virtual machine and you do not have a domain, then what you can do is that you can head back over to Google Cloud and then click on this hamburger icon and then click on compute engine and then simply copy this external IP address. After that, simply paste that IP address over here in front of server name and also in front of server alias. Once that is done, you want to hit Ctrl O, press enter and then Ctrl X to save and exit from the file. And then after that, we simply want to enable our virtual host. So for that, simply copy this command and paste it inside our SSH terminal. Once that is done, we want to restart our Apache server. So simply copy this command or simply type in sudo systemctl restart apache2 and then hit enter. After that, we're basically done with setting up our OS ticket and also our Apache. Now what we can do is that we can head over back to Google Cloud and then copy the external IP address and paste it inside a new tab and then hit enter. So that is going to open up the OS ticket installer on our browser. So as you can see that we meet all of the requirements so we can simply click on continue. And in here you are going to provide information regarding your help desk. So for the help desk name I am going to go with cloud infrastructure services and the default email is going to be test at test.com. Make sure to provide a valid email address. So the first name is going to be cloud and the last name is going to be infrastructure. Now the email address over here should be different from the email address given over here because currently we are providing the email address of the admin user. So let's just go with test1 at test.com and then for the username I'm going to go with test admin123 and after that provide a password and then reconfirm that password. And then the next section is about the database. So this is going to be the prefix of each table inside our database and our database is hosted on a local host so that is why it is provided as localhost by default. And after that, we want to provide the name of the database. Now remember when we were creating a database, the name was ticket. After that, we want to provide the username and the password that we have created for our database. So 
if you have given your username then feel free to use that over here but since i've gone with the default one so therefore i'm going to use this one which is ticket user paste it over here and the password was ticket pss once that is done you can simply click on install now now after that you would be prompted that os ticket has been successfully installed now there are some post processing or post installation steps that you want to perform so for that simply head back over to the blog post guide and then simply copy these two commands and paste it inside the ssh terminal and then hit enter now basically these commands are going to clean up the remaining files which are not required now once that is done what you can do is that you can simply copy this ip address of our virtual machine and paste it inside a new tab to open up the os ticket help desk so here you can create a ticket and open up a new ticket but in case you want to open up the admin control panel for the os ticket then simply click on this option right here that says log into admin panel so give your username and password which was test admin 123 and the password and then hit enter so that is going to allow you to access the admin portal for our os ticket anyways that brings us to the end of this video now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for google cloud platform and for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up os ticket server on google cloud platform and finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel